What's going on YouTube? Gene here, bring you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this G-Max Lapras team. So if you guys are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you for everybody who has supported the channel. So this team right here was made by Cybertron VGC, another YouTuber who does Pokemon content. All of his links will be in the description below. Definitely go check him out. But on this team, we have our boy Extra Drill right here. Big physical attacker. I've been using this team streaming lately. Been having tons of fun. You guys already know the deal. Link to my stream will be in the description below. Come hang out with me. Come chill. But yeah, I've been using it for streaming. Having tons of fun with it. Winning on the rank ladder. So I figured I'd show it off on the YouTube channel. We have the Extra Drill right here with Sword Dance. If I can set it up. The Sword Dance, it's Domination. You guys already know, it's very fast Pokemon, and it can hit like a truck, especially with that plus two attack with the Sword Dance. Then we have this G-Max Lapras, who is like the heart of this team. G-Max Lapras has been taken over the meta with its new move, well, its G-Max move that is now viable in rank. It is G-Max Resonance, and it can set up a free Aurora Bell without even a hail. So it's very, very strong, and I think it's probably the best thing in this meta. We also have the Raichu to pair up with that Lapras as its weakness policy. I can go ahead and Brick Break it, and then trigger our own, our, our own weakness policy, and roll out from there. This Raichu also has Fake Out, Brick Break to break other screens as... People are going to be using G-Max Lapras. We can break the Aurora Bell. Volt Switch as a pivot move and Nuzzle to control with the Paralyzes. Then we have this Rhyperior and Dusclops who is the Trick Room side of this team. So if we know they're going to outspeed us, we go Rhyperior, Dusclops. We set out that Trick Room and we get rolling from there. Then Indeedee in the final spot rolls out with both sides of this team. For the Lapras side, it can work as a control Pokemon to heal them up, follow me, and soak up shots. And for the Trick Room team, it can just follow me so we can perfectly set up that Trick Room. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, my rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite typing of Pokemon? Like, for me, I don't really have one single typing of Pokemon. Like, I don't know if I like water, grass. You guys know the typings of Pokemon. But I don't really have one certain typing. But if you guys do, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get rocking out in double battles with this G-Max Lapras team. Battle number one coming at you guys. This guy has a Trick Room team of his own with a Barrascuta in the back. A little, little weird. A little weird, but I dig it. I dig it. I don't know who I'm going to roll out with here. Do I roll with a Trick Room team of my own? Do I start off with Indeedee, hop the second seeds, go with Indeedee Lapras, or do I go Indeedee Raichu to get started and then roll out with the uh, Rhyperior Indeedee in the back? I think that's the play. I think that's the play. I think he sets the Trick Room. If he doesn't, that's kind of fine by me because I had the Lapras and the Raichu. But then if he does set the Trick Room, I have the Lapras and the Rhyperior to work pretty well in Trick Room. Let's see who he goes with. If he's going to set up Trick Room, he's going to go with the Dust Claps and maybe Grimstar will set up screens. But I wonder if he has Brick Break. I mean, my Raichu has Brick Break in case he wants to set up screens. I'll give it a like, yeah! Just chop up those screens, get him out of here. Well, let's get rolling here. Trying to get a nice win in our first battle. That would be dope. That'd be nice, clean. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is that Torkoal. Torkoal is rather, rather scary with the Drought. They can just leave that Drought. Kind of screw around with my Lapras a little bit. But I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I can I can definitely just drop a Resonance, set up that Aurora Belt, and roll from there. But I, see, but I think he's going to go Dust Cops, maybe Grimmsnarl, or Dust Cops, somebody else. Yep, Dust Cops, Grimmsnarl. Like I said, so he leads that. I have Brick Break, so if he wants to set up screens, he could definitely be going for a Fake Out, but my Fake Out should come out first. So I'm actually going to... Bump, bump, bump. How should I actually do this? I'm actually going to set up the Aurora Belt. Turn one. We're setting up the Aurora Belt. I'm going to go after this... Uh, this Grimmsnarl, because he's going to go after, he's probably going to go fake out to something else. So we're just going to go fake out. He's probably going to fake out Trick Room, so I'm going to fake out him before he fakes out me. I think we should go first, right? Or does Prankster give it that priority? Let's see. Let's see. Get it, Raichu. What you want, my dude? What you want, fool? Because he's definitely got to be setting up Trick Room. Then I can definitely Volt Switch out or take control with the Nuzzles. Or this could be a G Master Grimmsnarl. There are so many options now, now that... The new season is here. Like G-Max Grimstone has G-Max Snooze, which is like a double yawn. That's pretty cool. I haven't really seen any of them. But it's mainly just been Lapras. That's why I figured I'd show it off. But what you want? What you want, fool? What are you going to go for? Does our fake out come out first? It does. Let's get it. Mwah! Get clapped, boy. Get clapped, boy. What do we trigger? Is it Jack Button? Is he trying to trick us? What's he trying to trick us? Yo, get out of here. Go ahead. Go into somebody that's... Not going to take this ice move very well. Where are you going into? Right, yo, dude, thank you so much. This is actually my KO. This is actually my KO. G Max Resonance coming through. This is my KO. Special attacking. Yo, buddy, thank you so much. Big damage. We do not pick up the KO, but I'm chilling here. Let's go. We get the Roar Bell set up as well. That is huge. That is huge that he goes out into that. 
We trigger his weakness policy. We take those. We take those all day. And he turns off his console. Bro, that is hilarious. That is honestly hilarious. I love making people do that. That last guy was not having it. Once we dropped that resonance on his right period, he was like, click, turn off his console. Bro, that was hilarious. I seriously love making people do that. But well, we're hopping into battle number two. He has a Draco Fish kind of speedy team right here with the Wimscott. So do I set up the trick room? I might want to. I actually might really just want to get rolling with this. But he might go into Chandler and in prison. So I kind of want to throw him a little bit of a curveball and go Lapras Raichu turn one. And have the Indeedy Dust Cops in the back? Or do I go Rhyperior Dust Cops? I said we go Rhyperior Dust Cops. Get out of here, Indeedy. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. We'll have that Dust Cops in the back to potentially roll Trick Room later. But I think he's going to go Chandelor in the lead to play Safe Keepings and imprison that Trick Room. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, once he switched out to the Rhyperior, I was like, come on, show me the Rhyperior. Show me something that we can hit with ice. It was just like Rhyperior. He's like, oh, no, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Clicks his button, wraps up his controller like in the Smash tournaments, and he's out of here. Yeah, see, I told you. He was going to leave that Chandelure to imprison Trick Room. I'm fine with it. I can drop a Geyser. Or I can drop a Resonance over on. I can go Clap and then Resonance. I'm fine with it. Let's do it. Let's go here. Let's go Fake Out Clap onto the Winscott. And try to just finish off this Wimscott so he doesn't get a Tailwind up. I'm chilling with it. What's he going to do? He's Dynamaxing the Chandelure? It's got to be the Chandelure, right? Unless it's, if it's a Wimscott, that would be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. Okay, it is the Chandelure. I wonder what he's rolling. Shadow Ball, Imprison, Heat Wave. I'm cool. I'm cool with what he said. He's probably trying to set the Heat. He's probably trying to set the Heat. We're not going to let him get a Tailwind up. I'm fine if he sets the Heat. I really am. We'll get this Aurora Bell popping for you, boy. And then we'll be chilling. I can start nuzzle buzzling up as well. Because if he doesn't get that Tailwind, my Raichu should be one of the fastest on the field. So I can just start, start throwing nuzzles, kind of start controlling this game out and trying to get a second win. But what you want, yo? The name of the game is just G-Max the Slappers, dude. But Fake Out's going to pop, potentially take out the Winscott and just get rid of the Tailwind if this KOs. You flinch, you can't move, my dude. He's going to go for... Oh, you have Overgrowth? Okay, now you're definitely dead. This is Stab. It's not going to do too, too much in this Aurora Veil. Actually, it did a heaping amount. A lot more than I thought it would. But you trigger our weakness policy. We'll be able to nuzzle that thing down, slow it down, and probably be able to dump on it with the Geyser. I'm cool with it. I'm totally fine with this. Unless he goes into a guard. There's no way he's going to go into the guard because he outspeeds me. And Lord is Life Orb. But Resonance is going to pop. Set up the Roar, Roar Bell. Oh, we didn't have the Roar Bell last turn. That's why. I thought we had the Roar Bell for some reason. So we could totally eat up another shot. But I definitely want to nuzzle that so he doesn't go into a flare. Hmm. I don't know. How should I roll this? Because the Geyser will definitely take out the Chandelure. Hands down. His Life Orb. He's going to outspeed me. But he's not going to be able to KO me this turn with that Roar Bell up. Not a chance. It really depends on what Pokemon he throws out here. Because I can dump it one turn if I can land a Max Geyser. He's going to go Draco Fish. Okay, so Draco Fish is rather scary. Um, I feel like I nuzzle that up. I feel like I Geyser over on you, and I nuzzle the Draco Fish. Just to slow it down so it doesn't have a speed priority. So, yes. Okay, so we get this nuzzle off. We're chilling. We're fine. We get the Paralyze on that thing. I don't really mind the Chandelure hitting up on my Lapras again. Let's see. He's going to go for another Overgrowth. We'll eat this one up all day. So all my Lapras needs to do is out to be that Draco Fish. But I think the Draco Fish is going for a, uh, is going for a Fishish Friend over on my Raichu. But we do outspeed it now because the Nuzzle and the Chandelure should be gone. We'll set the rain for us. We're chilling. And we can get off another Nuzzle next turn on the, the next Pokemon. The final Pokemon. But we're chilling. I can definitely set up a Trick Room as well. At right period here. We have the rain. Oh, the rain actually helps him out. Ooh. So Raichu is definitely gone. Unless he goes after my Lapras. Let's see what happens here. Psychic Fangs come out here. Oh, he's going to break my... Oh, he breaks my Roar Bell. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Takes out my Lapras with it. Uh, do I roll Trick Room? I think I roll Trick Room here. I think I do roll Trick Room here. We have to Paralyze on him. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the Dust Cots out here. Let's roll Trick Room. I'll try to nestle the next Pokemon just so we have double Paralyzes going here. And it's the cool of a night. This is the cool of a night. Like, do I even set up Trick Room? I feel like Trick Room still is the play here. Right? So, Corviknight has leftovers, and that thing has a muscle band. Okay, so he can go into another Fish's Run if you want. I'm going to definitely just go into here. 
And I'm gonna nuzzle. I'm gonna just nuzzle up on the Corvo. I'm gonna nuzzle up on the Corvo. This double paralyzed is pretty good. I know they'll have a lower speed, so Trick Room will actually help them out. But I feel like the chances of them being paralyzed is greater than us playing this Trick Room here. So I think we should be fine. I because these are rather fast Pokemon with the Draco Fish and the Corviknight. They're rather fast when my right period comes through. Nuzzle pops here. Get paralyzed, my dude. What you want? What you want? Come on, show me that some of them won't be able to move. Draco Fish uses a Fish's Rain. That's going to take me out. All right, Raichu's gone. Raichu's out of here. This is a Rain. Rain's helping him out. And the Brave Bird comes through. We'll be able to eat this up and set up a uh, Trick Room. That's Dandy Candy. And then my right period comes out here. So the main focus here is we have to be slower than that Draco Fish. I think my Rhyperior still might be slower than that Draco Fish. We have to double into that Draco Fish. Like, he's got to go. Draco Fish has got to go. I'm not worried about the Corvid Knight. He probably has Brave Bird, maybe Iron Head, but we are a defensive tank. We are a huge defensive tank, so if I can get rid of this Draco Fish, we kind of have this one in the bag. And I have Fire Punch as well. So high horsepower into the fish. And get rolling from there. Get rolling from there, baby. Uh, do we go Nightshade as well, or do we Pain Split? Let's go Nightshade. I got to double into the Straker Fish just in case he survives here. And drop this little horsepower. That is high, baby. Go ahead, Rhyperior. Go first, buddy. Let's Cops goes first. Come on, Rhyperior. Go before these chumps. Show me that and make good calls. Let's go. Good calls by Jeans. Got the double paralyzed. Take out the Draco Fish. Yep, we take out the Draco Fish and we're looking good. We have this thing paralyzed and we have the speed advantage all day. You're going to go into an Iron Head? A bulk up. Okay, he's going to go into a bulk up. I mean, Nightshade does the uh, same amount of damage all around. But I guess I'll start nightshading and just uh, throwing fire punches at. Actually, fire punch won't do too, too much. I gotta predict a roost because high horsepower can do some mean damage. Because when you roost, it actually brings the Pokemon, it grounds the Pokemon for that turn. And I can just dump on it. So we'll go into a nightshade. We'll just wait for the paralyzed kind of trigger here. Because I don't think nightshade really goes off of what they have there. Let's go nightshade into a rock side, maybe get a flinch. He might try to bulk up again, which is rather scary. Which is probably what he's going to do. Nightshade's going to pop here. I think Nightshade just is based on uh, Pokemon's level. It has nothing to do with the stats. Rock side pops here. Can we get the flinch? So now we have the flinch and paralyzed chance. Not bad. So if we get it here, it's basically game. We get a flinch or paralyzed. Let's go. There's the flinch, baby. Let's go. Game is kind of wrapping up here. But this thing has leftovers. So we have to land two shots here. I think a fire punch and a nightshade should be able to do it. Or, yeah, nightshade and fire punch. It should definitely be able to do it. His nice shade should bring him down to the red. And then we should just be able to give him a little, a little bit of fire punch. And take battle number two. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Uh, fire punch. Even though it's in the rain, I still feel like it's going to do a decent amount of damage here. Go Nightshade. Mwah. See, all these Pokemon played a big role. Lapras did work. Raichu with the Paralyzes did some work. And then these two came in and cl cleaned everything up. GG. Let's go. 2-0 with this team. We're going to hop into a third and final battle and try to get 3-0. So we made somebody quit. We played very well in this battle, and now let's see what battle number three has to offer. I'm a big fan of the team that we are going up against. He has this drought team with the Venusaur. I love Venusaur with Chlorophyll. He has two ways to set the drought. He probably has Sunny Day on his Whimsicott. He has drought with the Torkoal. He has a Charizard who thrives under the drought. Maybe a Belly Jump Snorlax. Not too sure about that one. And he has that Control Togekiss with Follow Me and all that good stuff. Probably Super Luck as well. But how do we play this one? How do we play this one? Um, bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Do I play Trick Room here? I think I play Trick Room here. I think I just lead Trick Room. Go Dust Clops. And DD go Rhyperior and Exodil in the back. And not even go in with my Lapras and Raichu. And see how this one works out. So we're going to show off the little bit of Trick Room side of this team. And get rolling. Even though we used a little bit of Trick Room in the last time. But this is a team I usually like to go for if I'm trying to get a Trick Room going. Because I have that Exodil in the back. who's very fast. So once that Trick Room ends, we can potentially just roll out. Bang, bang, fast moves. We have the focus sash as well, just in case. Just go from there. But who's he going to lead? Is he going to charge our Winscott? He goes Tokus Snorlax. So, you're kind of in a tough situation here. We are in a tough situation here. Hmm. You're going to follow me, Belly Drum. That's a fact. That is a fact. Um. Do I swap right away? I swap right away. I say I go Trick Room. And I swap right away. I have to. I have to swap right away. Let's go here. And then maybe get my Ndidi up in there for a follow me to chance to take out that Snorlax. 
This is one of our only plays here. Because he has to be going follow me belly jump or something along those lines. Let's see. Yeah, follow me belly jump's coming. Yeah. The Pokemon I picked for this right here was not good at all. Not even close. If we get this Trick Room up, he's going to go for another follow me. That's a fact. He eats his berry. He's going to go for another follow me. I think I get the Indeedee up in here. Do we see Indeedee eating this up? That's the question. I... I actually think we just keep the dust cops here. I really do think we just keep the dust cops in here. And maybe we go for a pain split in case we eat this up. Now we're gonna go first, so I'll just go for a nightshade over on you. And I'm gonna drop a max rock fall over on the token kisses side. We're gonna rock out with that side. Because he's definitely going into Dynamax, follow me. Good, it shows my right peer going first. So if he does Dynamax, we have the first turn advantage. We're going to go for a Nightshade. Hopefully, he targets my Dusclops, takes him out. So I don't think he's going to take out my right here. I'm not too sure. This plus six is rather scary. But if I can, if he can take out my Dusclops, we can get our NDD in there, follow me, and potentially just take out the, the Snorlax and roll from there. But yeah, we do get the speed advantage, but he's definitely going for follow me. This is why I'm dropping the rock, get the Sandstorm rolling, and go from there. What you want, fool? I'm coming for you. We had a terrible start to this one. We had a terrible lead, and he went belly drum. I totally thought he was going to go maybe with the Wimscott. Charizard, something along those lines, but he read us. He read us very, very well. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. He's going to go for the follow me. Like I said, we'll be able to dump on it, say night night to him. Then she's going to fly through as well. And then watch. He's going to G Max replenish. Probably onto him. No, he's not going to G Max replenish. Not a chance. Not a chance because it doesn't affect my dust class and it's not very effective to my right here. Rock Fall is going to fly through here. <laughs> dump on his kissy poo. Bye bye, Token Kiss. Get out of here. And I really do wonder what he's going for. That is my question. Lucas faints. There's like there's no way he's going for a replenish. Let's see. We do some of our HP to our life or I guess for Quake. On to please my dust cops? My right here. Ooh. My period does eat. Okay, so that's pretty good. We'll be able to get off a shot over on that. I'm cool with it. He's gonna boost his special defense. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. See, we do eat up a shot, but this is why I wanted my DD out here. Maybe I should have just swapped. Maybe I should have just swapped here. That would probably would have been the play. To just swap the last turn instead of going for the Nightshade. Oh, but your boy Torkoal comes out here. And now we're sitting in a scary position. We're sitting in a very, very scary position. Um, bump, bump, bump. Hmm. Like, who do I take out here? Hmm. I think I go for a Nightshade over on you. He's going for an eruption. Do I drop a rock or do I go for a quake and try to get the KO? I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the weather up. He's gonna go first though. I'm a guard. I'm a guard here. I have to. He might be doubling into me. But we guard. Hopefully he doubles into me. Solar beam popping out here. Absorb light. Go into my boy. Go into my right period. Yes, okay. So he blocked that one. And hopefully he goes to a quake as well. On me again. Let's see, Nightshade's gonna pop. Oh my god, this guy's got me going. He's got me on the ropes. Darkness is gonna pop here. Oh, but that's gonna take me out. This guy has some nice covering moves on him. Honestly, if he wants to go for a solar beam, he's gotta go for an eruption. That's a fact. Special defense is dropping. Ooh, he's gotta go for an eruption. And we have to take out the what's it called? Let's go, Indeedy. And we have to take out the. We have to take out the Torkoal here. I think the Torkoal is our main threat here because we do outspeed that thing. I can just go follow me. As much as I want to go for a heal pulse, I have to get rid of that, uh, the drought and the, the Torkoal. So we'll be able to want to have the Torkoal up. So if, hopefully he's like choice into Solar Beam and he's not going to go into Eruption, but he's probably Charcoal. He's probably Charcoal if he's going into that Solar Beam just like that. Well, let's see. What you want, my dude? What are you going to do? Well, please go in the solar beam. Hopefully this follow me does some work. Because Trick Room should be ending rather soon. It should be ending rather soon. But we got one or two more turns left. Let's see. Follow me pops out here. Come on, baby. We want this third battle win. We want to follow me. Go for another solar beam, please. Just for a heat wave. We might be able to eat that up. Yes! Right here eats that up. Indeedy's going to go down here. We're going to go first. We're going to go down here as well. So he's going to get a double kill. So we do get the kill on the Torkoal. And we change the weather for my extra little roll out here. So it's coming down to a tough little position here. The so right period is gonna go down to the life orb. If we didn't, if we didn't go down life orb damage, that would be huge. 
But yeah, double kill for him. He's probably going to go into a replenish. And he's, look, his luck, he's probably going to get a berry. Or my luck, he's probably going to get a berry. Quake, he's going to boost his special defense. Luckily, we have a physical attacker in the back end. And he doesn't even go for the replenish. That's fine by me. He doesn't go for the replenish. So who do we take out so far? I think, yeah, we took out the kiss and that. So it comes down to a 2v1 situation. Which is scary. Is Trick Room gone? I think we, there might be one more turn in Trick Room. So he, might, he might have this one in the bag. No! Don't do me dirty! Venusaur. I think it's Venusaur just dumping on me regardless. <laughs> Extra drill flies out here for me. What about the Twisted Dimensions? Are they gone? Are they gone? I, th I think they might have one more turn. We'll see. I believe it's one more turn. Let's see. Yep. Trick Room's got one more turn. They're all going to go before me. Uh, bump, 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 bump. High horsepower into this. Just relax. My best bet. Probably just going to roll out with uh, his high horsepower or whatever ground move he's rolling with. Just take me out. Darkest Larry. Okay. Well, that'll bring us down to Rasash. <laughs> just dumped on me. And then this Venus was probably going to take me out with an Earth Power. GG. Dang it, dude. He just had the whole counter team for me. He played that one so well with picking his team. That's why picking your team in the beginning is so important. If I would have went with my other team, we probably would have had that win, to be honest. But GG to this guy. We go 2-1. and one. All round, I've been having so much fun with this team. With that G-Bag Slappers on it, it is just awesome. It's like an off-meta team that you can just have fun, roll out, and dominate with. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.